hello everyone welcome back in this series of videos we are converting a static HTML CSS based theme into Drupal 6 theme and this is video number two in the second step I will copy all the background images which are in the static HTML theme and the CSS into Drupal theme so I will copy this CSS from the static HTML and the images, all the images, the background images inside this folder into our Drupal theme. So as you can see, all these images are right here. We take a look at this CSS. it looks exactly the one from static HTML theme I have also copied all the content from index.html starting from body tag into page.tpl starting from body tag let's see how it looks in the browser what you see now is just static HTML content inside Drupal's page.tpl.php because it has the same structure of divs same CSS file same background images it looks exactly the same if I scroll down all the way down you will see the output of variables generated by Drupal so these are the output of variables if you take in take a look so these are the variables generated by Drupal and this is all the static HTML uh, index.html content and the divs now I will start replacing the content of this uh, page.tpl.php with the variables generated by Drupal I will keep the same structure of divs so that the same design is maintained. I will start with the menu. Let's take a look at the menu. At the moment, this is the static menu and uh, Drupal's variable is being output right here at the bottom. If you take a look in the code, I will copy this, primary links. and I will delete this and replace the variable so now Drupal is outputting this uh, primary links and the same we will do with the um, let's see the site name we will copy this and replace the site name this tech house we will replace this with Drupal's output variable output and the same with the slogan title we'll replace it as you can see I'm keeping the same structure so div is the same span is the same displacing the content generated by Drupal I will save it and let us take a look how it looks in the browser okay so this menu is being generated by Drupal and um, let us add one more menu item to see how it looks we will go to content management create content page all the way down let's create a primary links we will 
and save it. So the next menu item is displayed right here. Now if you take a look at the um, the site name and the mission is different from our static site. In the static site it says steakhouse, great place to eat. That we can change in our admin uh, section because it is being generated by Drupal now. We go to site configuration, site information, go all the way down and the site name we change it to steakhouse and the slogan we have great place to eat save the configuration in Drupal's admin section we have changed the name of the site and um, changed the uh, mission to reflect the design we are following and let's save it refresh it refresh it one more time and that's how it looks now the site name and the mission is being um, output by Drupal now after the menu and the site name we will work on the banner so this is the div id of the banner and if you take a look in our css file this is where it is defining how what is the background image and stuff so we will delete this content inside this div id and replace it with the drupal's variable let's see the banner Now if we take a look at this change in the browser, the only difference you see is the content here has disappeared. The background is still the same. So we will work on this content which was right here now. To bring that text here, what I have done is I have took the content which was here went into blocks created a block place the content inside that block the name of that block is banner text block if I go to configure you can take a look it's the same content which was here so I save this block and I will place this block in our banner section save it and here you have it the reason uh, it is not in bold is that in our con configuration needs to be full HTML and now you can see it is almost similar to our design now we will start with the 